Greetings, Toy Heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legend series, retro-carded Deadpool. Uh, just got this in from the old Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, it was where I managed to get my hands on one of these because they sold out pretty quick before I could do it on uh, any of the other sites. So let's have a look. First off, uh, obviously it comes in this really cool black and white box, which we are going to dispatch really quick. Let's get it out of that. And uh, then we can uh, dive in. All right, here we go. And there, oh. If he's going to stand up, there we go. And we got him out. So, here we are. Um, it is, it's got the 80-year 80, uh, 80 anniversary logo up in the top left. I believe this was a, I believe this was a reissue, obviously, because it's got the 80 years and not the 85. But, um, very cool. I don't have this style comic book Deadpool. So, I'm actually pretty ex excited about this. Um, here we've got the, like I said, we've got the 80 years logo there at the top. Warning, choking hazard. Don't put, uh, don't put toys in your mouth. Uh, Uncanny X-Men X-Force. Uh, there you can see the comic book art here on the side. Deadpool, it comes with a katana and another katana. Uh, Deadpool there. There you can see Deadpool and all his Deadpooliness. Hasbro logo on the bottom right. On the back here, we've got... Some little blurbs about Deadpool and uh, just breaking the fourth wall all over the place. He's just covering up the entire wave <laughs> of figures in that lineup. Uh, down here at the bottom, Hasbro logo, barcode, and uh, what does that say? Oh, Hasbro.com slash Marvel. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's get him out of the package. Let's get him onto the pedestal and we'll have a look. All right, here we have him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories first. And foremost, we have a great big uh, submachine gun here with a grenade launcher on the underneath the barrel there, all done up in uh, a bluing uh, gunmetal and red paint. Uh, looks really, really good. Um, this is probably going to be the one I display him with. Uh, Really, really nice detail on this. Uh, you've got the grip on the grenade launcher there. Uh, nice paint apps with the red on the bump stock back here and uh, above the barrel and the grip and the magazine, which does not come out. Uh, it does not have any, uh, it doesn't have a hole for any effects, which that's kind of a bummer, but still, that's a pretty sweet looking uh, SMG there. And since we're on SMGs, let's, uh, we've got a couple of, uh, couple of pistol uh, not Uzis I'm not exactly sure what those are in my gun lingo but uh, yeah we've got a couple of uh, dual SMGs here which I don't think I will be displaying him with um, unfortunately he doesn't have any place to put these uh, extra weapons but uh, that's all right we've got little baggies and little containers that we keep stuff in so uh that's where those will go and get used for some other purpose but we have two of those and then the coup de gras here i saw this when i was taking it out and i was just like damn this is really nice uh you got a little uh 45 it looks like a colt army uh <clears throat> little 45 semi-automatic uh pistol with a nice wood grain grip on it and a very shiny bluing gunmetal uh, on there and uh, this also does not have a a hole in it but I am definitely putting this on him um, as well as the uh, as well as that big SMG so really really nice really really nice weapons uh, that he comes with and then uh, of course well we also have I guess I should Go ahead and pull these out. We have those classic Deadpool katanas uh, that are in the scabbards on his back. Uh, we've seen those before uh, in those blue scabbards right there. 
And then uh, here we've got Mr. Deadpool. And he stands at approximately, actually right at three, or I'm sorry, three, six and a quarter inches tall, um, which is, that's pretty standard for, for the Deadpool figures. And this is really nice. Like I said, I have a comic Deadpool, but it's it's the red and black. I, I don't have, and I've, I've never owned, a like the the red and the shiny blue uh, Deadpool. So I'm I'm pretty excited about having this. And <clears throat> looking at the sculpt, it would have been nice to have like the unmasked head, but uh, no complaints because I think this is going to be a 10 out of 10 just by looking at it. I have not moved it at all yet other than the ankles just to get him to stand up because, you know, out of the package, you sometimes have to do that. But that head sculpt is really nice. Uh, I like the red and the, the contrast between the matte red and the, the shiny metallic looking blue. Uh, but we've got those uh, piercing white eyes coming out of the blue on that mask. Uh, that looks really, really good. Got that red... Uh, red bandolier harness strap going down to the belt with the Deadpool logo there uh, on and then on the back as you as you saw before we have the the uh, dual katana scabbards there um, really nice really really nice I know I keep saying that but it looks really good that blue uh, the camera really doesn't do it justice that blue just really sparkles and uh, I'm really digging it. It doesn't look so much blue on the camera. I'm gonna have to adjust my my uh, filter settings on this camera, but yeah, <clears throat> it's really really nice. Like a nice deep dark, uh, deep dark blue. And uh, I got silver buckles on the on the uh, harness there. Down to we've got uh, two leg pouch. Uh, straps there going around each leg on the upper leg and then down to the uh, feet where we've got some straps uh, right above the feet and then on the wrists we've got some red straps I don't know why they didn't make those that blue though um, those are red and those are blue which is strange but it's Deadpool so so let's look at articulation first off we've got a is that a static neck? Yeah, that is a static neck. Oh, we do have that little collar, too. Uh, that is a separate piece right there below the head on the neck. Um, so we've got a static neck with a ball hinge giving us full rotation on the head. Uh, giving us really good down, really good up because you... Boo! And, and the head pops off effortlessly, too. Um, so you, that that's, you know, that's going to give you the best up and down... Uh, on that uh, on the shoulders we've got butterfly hinges on the shoulders very nice butterfly hinges on the shoulders um, hinge at the shoulder wow that goes way back that's crazy um, wow I'm really digging this um, so we've got the hinge on the shoulder going all the way up you got full rotation of that as well uh, bicep swivel with a double elbow going right to there where that catches right there uh, down to the wrist where we have full rotation on the wrist and an in and out on the left and this should be up and down no it is in and out hmm interesting okay hmm. so <clears throat> that's kind of a bummer um Especially since he's a sorty gunny guy. Um, so we have a hinge mid torso there for some ab crunch. Uh, despite the fact that we have a battle harness on him, you do get that for the forward and the back. Um, and that's and that's actually not where the, where it's it's catching with the harness. That's as far back as that goes. And then we have a waist swivel that is detented. So that's super nice. Here's the here's the telltale right here. Legs out to there. Oh, it is not a drop-down ball joint. Okay, well, you can't have everything, I guess. Uh, thigh swivel right there. And a double knee going back to there where that catches here and then it catches on the uh, leg strap. Down to the feet where we have detents on the feet and a forward rocker. Let's get... Let's get his... 
put that. Let's see, now we need to get the trigger finger in the, there we go. Okay, let's get that up. And I wanna put this in his right hand. Cause that is just a sweet, that's like one of the best looking pistols I've ever seen in a figure. Getting that finger to go in that trigger well though. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and get him off the pedestal and line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. Okay, here we have him with the Medicom Moffex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Firefly, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Deathstroke. And here we also have him with the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Deadpool 2 movie Deadpool, the Hasbro Marvel Legends series original retro carded Deadpool, and the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Deadpool Legacy Deadpool reissue. All in all, I'm super happy with this. I think it's a fantastic figure. I think they did a really good job. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I was going to give it a 10 out of 10, but... Um, my two my two biggest complaints with it is that there is no place to store the weapons, so you can't actually have all his weapons on him, kind of like how G.I. Joe Classified series does. And the fact that there isn't a drop-down ball joint uh, on the legs, so you can't get him into some of them crazy poses that you would like to get him in. Outside of that, this is fantastic. It looks great. Though, like I said before, the red and the shiny blue contrasts well together. The, the weapons are great. That, that gun right there just looks awesome. Um, the, the big SMG looks great. The, the little, uh, the dual SMGs look great. The katanas are what you would expect. There's those sort of corny, goofy katanas that he uses in the comic book. I, I'm I'm thoroughly happy with this. Nine out of ten, easily. If you haven't picked this up yet, get it. And that will do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There he goes. I had to put a peg on his leg. Oh well. That's that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.